plus shaft fractures. Okay. In the previous video, I talked about uh, proximal part of the humerus fractures. I said that there are three types of fractures or humerus fractures: the proximal type, the shaft type, and the distal type fractures. Now I'm going to talk about humerus shaft fractures. Humerus shaft fractures can be pathological. Okay, can be pathological with minor trauma. I mean by pathological the presence of the of a cyst, of uh, osteoporosis, uh, or any other pathology in the bones that make a minor trauma able to fracture the shaft of the humerus or could be just uh, as a result of a high energy trauma fracture as we can see here okay this uh, trauma can be falling down or direct blowing of the humerus or indirect trauma of the humerus and so on okay so pathological fractures and non-pathological fractures due to a major or a high energy trauma okay we can classify uh, humerus shaft fractures into many types transverse fracture as we can see here we have transverse fracture oblique fracture spiral fracture oblique and spiral comminuted fracture where we have many fragments of the bone comminuted okay so transverse oblique spiral comminuted fractures we have to do x-ray to investigate uh, humerus shaft fracture in x-ray these are multiple x-rays here we can see transverse fracture spiral fracture okay and uh, here is wedge fracture start by oblique or trans oblique fracture and then which fracture spiral fracture again okay. Okay. x-ray also can show us the pathology of the bone if we have a pathological fracture we can see a cyst we can see a malignancy we can see osteoporosis etc okay so in x-ray we can use x-ray to see the fracture itself or underlying pathology if present okay so the patient comes to you with pain okay with deformity of the bone here we can see a humerus shaft fracture with deformity swelling and pain also patients with humeral uh, humeral humeral shaft fracture comes with radial nerve palsy okay we can see here the radial nerve entrap entrapment by the fracture in the posterior aspect of the humerus the, the radial nerve runs so any injury to the shaft of the humerus can lead to radial nerve entrapment and the radial nerve palsy is fear of extension of metacarpophalangeal joint you ask the patient to extend metacarpophalangeal joint and he fails to extend them this is radial nerve palsy so pain swelling and deformities radial nerve palsy is very important and shaft humerus shaft fracture i want to say that or to recall you that uh, in the previous video when we talked about the proximal part of the humerus fractures we said that axillary nerve palsy is the most common okay we affect the deltoid muscle with pain paresthesia restriction of motion etc okay but here in the shaft radial nerve palsy so in the proximal part axillary nerve palsy in the shaft radial nerve palsy okay so what to do First of all, we have to do uh, X-ray. We have to do X-ray to see the exact position of the fracture, the uh, type of fracture, the underlying pathology of presence. Okay. After that, we have to do 
a, a neurovascular examination a neurovascular examination to check if there is radial nerve palsy after this we have to try to reduce the fracture in place okay by traction with a counter force we have to tract the humerus and reduce any place after reduction we have again to check in to do neurovascular examination and to do uh, x-ray to make sure that the, uh, the humerus is in place again okay then after we've tracked uh, or reduced the uh, fracture in place and uh, dead radial nerve palsy and radial nerve palsy examination of course and x-ray we have to put a sling okay a sling for one two three weeks okay 90 percent of cases heals with no surgical management but in some cases surgery is a must there are some cases where surgery is needed we have to do surgery and examples of these cases is open fractures in open fractures we have to do surgery in multiple fractures of course if we have for example uh, a fracture in the humerus and other fracture in the femur we have to do surgery okay non or mal union after using a sling for example for more than one to three weeks we repeated the x-ray and we found that there is no healing or there is bad healing mal union non or mal union we have to do surgery to correct this mistake okay type of fractures not all fracture is uh, will heal with uh, a sling sometimes so, some types of fractures need a surgery for example spiral fractures some oblique fractures commuted fractures and other types of fractures according to the case sometimes need surgery we have to do surgery okay surgery is like what surgery is like intramedullary rod in a human fracture as we can see here in the medulla we have a rod that fixate the humerus in a place like a plate and screw fixation like external fixation and each one of these have has its its own indications and contraindications but i will not talk about them here okay so this is a brief uh, explanation about the fractures of the shaft of the humerus. See you in the next video.